you ever have one of those moments when you look back on the events of the week and you think to yourself, we really, really, really wish I didn't do that or hadn't done that. I'm having one of those today. I had to move a few gates about to um, load up the cattle that were going off to slaughter for TV. And I knew I pulled my back. I only carried it from like over there through the yard, through the barn, and to the other side. I didn't go very far with it. And it wasn't like it was a big gate, a 12 foot gate. But then I know it. You reminded me, well, about three or four hours after I did it, I didn't hurt straight away, it was afterwards. But now, it feels like I've been hit with a cricket bat. Still, we got, um, Abby and I got another load of bells in this morning. I'm going to go over to the farm now and get another load in by myself. And I just spoke to Matt, and right now I'm up to it and it's not raining, we'll go over again later on this evening and fetch and, um, the rest of them in. And then that, that job ticked off for now. Well, we've arrived. Just trying to decant out of this nice cool cab into a nasty hot one. So you got to bark at the fox, didn't you? She said fox. Yes, you did. Yeah. There was a fox over here about and never even heard me coming in. So but then I suppose the wind's going that way. He had his head down on the hedge over there. He didn't even know we were here, so I could really really walk up to him. Right, should we go and get into the tractor? Yeah. Come on in. Shall we? Switch here, come on.
that one loaded. I could have put that bail on as well. But that would have meant then taking home an odd number on the last load. So there's only 10 bells to go on the last load, which is the bottom layer. So I might as well leave one here. That's it. Hopefully. What's time now? It is now 20 to 5. We will be back in a couple of hours to pick these last few up and we'll be done. Yay. All right, that's another 17 loaded. Time to go over. Who are you grumbling at? Neighbours walking the dogs. On their own land, it's not on our ground. Grumpy. I wish that was the last load, but it's not. There's ten left in there. I could, I could leave them and do them tomorrow, uh, which is an option because they also need to pick up a load of pipes from up at the barn site. But it's probably now. So we'll see. Um, this could be the last load tonight. And I'll pick up the next load tomorrow. Yeah, well, I'll just to come back and do it this evening. I had a young elf who was keen to come and give me a hand, so let's get it in, get it under cover, tick the box, job done.
but there's just a couple of little tiny spots of moisture in the air. So, um, so basically, we haven't struck the bells down, we've struck them in, if you know what I mean. Um, I can keep an eye on the struts and, uh, and the tension from here because it's all tension at the front. So it's something I can keep an eye on. And it's only a single layer, so shouldn't really have an issue. Get these over gum off. Don't let me forget where I left the hat. So Mrs. P has just called me. We've got an issue at home. Apparently there's a fox. Um, a not very healthy looking fox in our front garden on the lawn. Of course they've got poultry in there. So I'm a bit worried about that, not only for the poultry, but also for my dogs. I don't think I've got the dogs going for them. And then then get in mange. I'm winding, I'm winding. I got a blue one behind me as well. I don't know if you can see that. It's a bigger blue one than me. But um, I think he's probably got a 40 kph box as well, so he's not off the go path. 